So, um, good morning, everybody. My name is Chris. I'm one of the router support engineers for Connected Solutions Group. Um, I wanted to go over some of the um, traffic steering rules that you can do on a Cradle Point router. Um, I'm using a AER2200 with the 1200M module. Verizon's recently certified that module. Um, you can also do this on AER1600s, IBR600C-150s. Basically, any of any of the routers, um, the branch routers, or um, some of the IoT devices, the IBR series, that have NCOS, NetCloud Operating System version 7.0.0 or better. I'm running 7.1.30 in this tutorial. Um, but this, this tutorial is um, targeted to people who have higher uh, uh, knowledge of network routing and protocols. This is uh, basically, we do this whenever we have uh, VoIP phone systems that people want to send VoIP traffic out the cellular interface because customers don't have enough bandwidth on their local ISP connection or main WAN 1 connection. So what they do is um, they might have 20 or 30 meg down on cellular and you know they might have 8 to 10 VoIP phones that they want to to use and upgrade to but they can't because they don't have that bandwidth. So what we do is uh, we'll go in here, we create a VLAN. The VLAN is basically a secondary network for the phones which is here and then we tag the port on the back of the router and associate that port tagged with VLAN ID 10 to that VoIP VLAN which I've changed from the guest network 192.168.10.1 to this IP address of 10.10.10.1 um, I've left uh, guest access or admin access enabled on this one so if I had to make any changes I can I've associated that VLAN to, to the local area network, that VLAN interface to that. Um, I've named it all that. Um, you can even actually have a schedule if you wanted to say I only want this VLAN to work during 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. and I don't want it to work on the weekends. I don't want it to get any traffic, um, you know, because it might be bandwidth restrictive or you might only have a certain amount of data. But in this case, you have the VLAN built and you say I want only want this VLAN to go out another WAN interface or in this case the cellular WAN interface. What you would do is you'd go over here to network networking routing traffic steering. This is the actual rule here. I've already got it created. I'll delete it and re-add it so you can see it. But it says this is the name of the traffic steering rule from this source network, okay, from any destination through any protocol, I only want it to go to this cellular WAN modem, okay? This is what the rule actually looks like. You could pick the source interface if you want here. I don't because sometimes it messes it up, um, but sometimes you have to if you have other multiple networks, guest networks, um, or a certain range of devices. You could actually even, um, if you don't have a VoIP VLAN and you have specific, um, you know, LAN IPs, just say that you know that this is the, the phone on your local area network and you want to bind that phone to only go out the cellular interface, then you would do that and you would save that, okay? Where do you get the, where do you get the WAN information? you have to go to the connection manager. Each WAN interface has its own unique identifier with CradlePoint. When you create these WAN interfaces, it asks you. In this case, I have three different WAN links because I was doing load balancing, but in this case, I only have one active. The one currently on a hard line from Suddenlink, which is this right here, is this unique identifier of WAN. That's my hardline WAN connection, okay? That's not the cellular interface, okay? You see this is from Suddenlink, not Verizon, okay? That's my primary WAN link, okay? But I want the VoIP VLAN, the VoIP phones, to go out the cellular interface, which is here. This would be red before you configure the rule. After you configure the rule, it turns green, okay? So 
the unique identifier for this interface is 11FE7. Remember that. Write that down. UID. You need that. 11FE7. Okay? So let's delete this and I'll show you what it looks like. This will turn red here in a second. See it turn red? Because the rule is, what, that's how you'll normally look. It'll look just like this. The primary WAN is up. Cellular is available, but it's not green. Okay? That's what you want it to look like before you create the rule. The rule is here. Traffic steering. You add. VoIP. VLAN. LTE only. Something like that. You know what the network is. You created it. Okay? You target. The target is... It's simple. I usually do unique ID. I don't do WAN profile because sometimes it doesn't take. This is the unique ID because you, you have to look. It's given the, the UID in there, so you have to look at it that way. Uncheck this box because it will only work if on failover if this box is checked, meaning you have failover set up and you only want the phones to go out the cellular interface during failover. That's when you would check that box. In this case, you want it all the time. You don't have enough bandwidth. You have to do this. That's how it goes. Okay. Once you do that, this interface from the cellular goes from red to green. Like that. It just connected. Okay. How do you verify that the actual phone has pulled an IP address? You can go to status, client list, and actually right about there. The phone has then grabbed the VLAN IP. And then how do you verify that it actually works? Well, you can come over here to throughput. Actually, you can probably get a statistics. Or even QoS. Yeah, VLAN, QoS. But what you can do is you can actually just make a test call. And look at that actual uh, device right here. Right here. Now watch the traffic change when you make a call. Let's mute this. Okay. We're going to go to that actual 10, 10, 10, 1, or 44, and then watch this change. 103.63. 103.65, 103.67, you see it changing. In this case, I have a, a QoS rule set up, so I can also look at it here. 15.05, the call's going still. Test, test, test. You see it moving. Test. Okay, let's go ahead and hang this up. So, that's how you can verify that um, it's working after you do it. And then you can go under uh, client list to make sure that the, um, the actual the phone is, is pulled. You can verify the, the Mac as well on the back of the phone. And, and two, that the, the IP address is different um, here on the local VLAN. Um, that sums the tutorial up for creating traffic steering rules. Um, I can I can also give you an example that just say that that phone, say you have another phone uh, or another device, okay? Just say that this iPhone right here. Just say you want that iPhone to also only go out the cellular interface, or this computer to only go out the cellular interface. You can go here, traffic steering rules. Create the rule. You can do Chris's iPhone um, LTE only. I do this so I know what the rule is. We know what the, the IP address of that device is. Okay. And the target is going to be, I know the unique ID of my WAN interface is this, but we know the cellular is this. Okay. That is the other modem. These are the other WAN interfaces. Be familiar with what these are so you know. We're going to pick that. We're going to uncheck this. We're going to save it. Okay. 
iPhone only. Client data usage. 1.50 was the iPhone. Okay, I'm going to make a call on this. I'm actually going to call back to my desk phone here. And I'm using uh, Wi-Fi calling, so I'm gonna mute this here. All right, and see the see the data change. Eighty-three twenty-five oh six. Eighty-three twenty-five oh seven. You see it? It's counting right now. That's how you know it's using data, and you can also look here. And you can also even verify that it's on the interface itself, it's using data. You go like this, test, test, see it moving, test, test, 167.77, 170, you see it move right there. So that verifies that the phone is using traffic off the cellular interface right now okay I'm gonna end the call um, so that's another example if you don't have a VLAN but you want specific devices to go out different interfaces um, because normally th this local area network would have went out right here would have went out the main WAN interface here right here not the cellular interface because this interface is only associated it's only associated to this local area network this one right here how do you, how does that so this interface see that the Wi-Fi interface which I'm connected wirelessly on my cell phone to that interface and these two Wi-Fi interfaces are then associated to that network and then this network is associated to that interface to that WAN interface so look up this uh, tutorial if you have questions about VLAN trunking how to create the VLAN this will tell you step-by-step -step guide you can also look up traffic steering I also type NCOS on all my stuff because you don't want the old um, version. You can click there and go through it here. And it shows you how to enable the traffic steering rule. Just like that. It's a little bit more difficult. You can usually start here and then go down, create the rule. It shows you how to do it. I don't use that. I name it, I keep it simple. And then I test that it works by looking at some of the statistics under status. Um, thank you guys for your time. Have a good afternoon.